I'm all about colors. I look into people's eyes, and I know they think I'm a bad guy. I want to invest time in creating moments for myself. I know myself, I'm learning myself, I'm growing, I'm maturing. Integrity is everything to me. I'm huge on visuals. I love visuals. I don't know how to interact with fans, man. Of course I want to be a superstar, but it doesn't happen overnight, and I see that from having a mentor. I made my entire first tape using Beats headphones, the studio headphones, and halfway through the second one, because I finally started making a home studio, but I record and make all my beats with the Beats headphones. I love music, but I never went to a concert in my life. The first time I went to a concert, I performed on a stage with Drake. I competitively want to produce just as many records for Drake as Kanye West did for Jay-Z. I feel like my story could hopefully inspire others who faced hard times. I'll take a shot of vodka if I want it to be raspy. I tell whoever's in the studio to get boiling hot water, like super boiling, that they're afraid to give it to me. I put it exactly on the back of my tongue to shock my body. That cleans it up. I make 99% of my music sitting down, in boxers, when I'm comfortable in my computer chair. My first tape was, hey, I can do what y'all do. It's new, flashy, and not through rap. It was a guy singing how cool he was. I'm here with big bro Drake. I'm his little gunner. I openly share music with Drake especially when it's time for him to have a project. I would never call myself mysterious. The word I use is private. When I'm home, I try to relax, but I still make music. I could make a Party Next Door album that's clean, all hits. That's not what I care about doing. I want to do as much as I can do while I'm young. I say it's easier to write for other people than write for myself. I'm looking for joy. I'm grateful that really pretty girls like my music and social media just happens to like really pretty girls. My mother didn't listen to my first tape or my second one. I thought, write a hit, you'll be rich and happy. Meet one of the most beautiful girls in the world, one of the most talented, and I'll be happy. All of that, I'm not happy. I'm literally am home making my own music unless I'm asked to be in somebody's house writing music for them. The best advice, Drake's, given anybody is to know yourself. It's the most important thing to live by. I take everything someone says and the way they say it to heart. I just notice everything. I'm very, like, I know what I want. I know what I want to do and what I don't want to do. It may seem like I'm carefree, but I'm care expensive. The difference between what people perceive and what's reality is that, like, I'm not actually shy. I'm just observant. I care a lot. I know how to use computers. I was one of those guys on MySpace who had one of those fake hit counters. I'll make a whole bunch of beats whenever, but unless I'm living through something or have a female in mind, or have a conversation in my phone I could scroll through. 
I'm not making music. I think too much, which is a blessing and a curse. When I was younger, I was influenced by Kanye, his story of coming up and how he kept producing and producing and saying, I'm more than just a producer. I'm more than just a writer. I'm more than just a guy in the studio here to give you ideas. I have a story. I want to write just as much as Kanye may have for whomever Kanye has written for. I think everyone has their roles, and in my opinion, I'm like the young hot boy of OVO, stubborn, very step out on his own and do his own thing. I would call myself the Pharrell of OVO. There are no rules for me. In the beginning it was definitely Drake, Kanye, and Lil Wayne, those were my influences. But having worked with all those three individually, I'm now appreciating my own individuality. I'm a recording artist, a performing artist, and a producing artist. All those things have everything to do with the outcome of my shows. I get myself studying every part of the game, and not everyone has the characteristic to do that. In my mind, you need all three to become an artist. First time I met Drake was 2012 at a studio in Toronto. When you get into the studio, you never know who is going to fit your energy. I would like to say that OVO, me being on OVO, they kind of protect me from the industry, so I'm not around it. I'm not around it unless I choose to be, or unless I ask to be. I was like, okay, cool, I'ma learn how to produce my own beats, and I stuck to it. Now, it's hard to even take a beat from anyone else. You know what matters? Touching people, being a real person, because when you're in front of real people, they go and give you a real reaction. All flip samples were once a completely dark song, and the next one is a complete sexual song. People think my whole thing is a dark thing, but I don't. Everyone should know yourself. It can be an insult, but know yourself is just it. It's exactly what it sounds like. I'm not Drake's sidekick. I want people to understand why I'm not P1 or P2. I treat my vocals as an instrument. I'm glad I'm with OVO. It's a dream come true. I'm going to make the music I make regardless, and it's always going to be driven by rhythm and blues, and hopefully it becomes popular. But I don't cater to, like, okay, I want to make music that's going to fit in this pop world or go on the charts, etc., etc. Hopefully, enough people like it so it becomes popular. Halsey's so talented, and her voice is so strong, and it's so addicting. There's a difference wherever you go in Canada, Ontario, and the GTA. I was one of those guys who was, I guess, socially popular in school. There's room for everybody. It's like crabs in the bucket, no pun intended. Shout out to chaos, but there's a lot of room for different types of Canadian music, cadences, and influences. There should be more love in Toronto when it comes to the music and entertainment scenes instead of keeping that screwface capital name. There should be more artists eating together, more artists celebrating together, and more artists making music together. That's how I feel.